Thanks for joining me again today, everybody, and we're going to talk about your lithium batteries that you might have for your tools. Uh, in many instances, you'll completely run out of power and they're dead or they appear to be dead or they cannot be charged. You're trying to charge them. You're getting no response. It's not charging at all or no, no lights show up on your charger. So there's a way to fix this without having to go buy brand new batteries. You should at least try this first before you toss them in the garbage. This is gonna be a battery that's for a, a 20 volt, for example, like this one here. Could be an older battery like this style. It'll, what I'm gonna show you here will work no matter which type of battery you have. So just uh, hang in there and follow these instructions and give it a shot and we'll see what happens by the end of this video. Hey, I forgot to mention if this video helps you, please hit that like button. It helps the video rank better so that way everyone else can see it too. Thanks. Here we have a good battery and the battery that is, uh, it seems to be dead, that's not charging. So if you put the good battery in, it's not fully charged, but you can see here we got the light blinking indicating that it's, uh, it's charging. Okay, and on the, uh, on the charger it says one light blinking, it's charging. If it's a solid blink, it's completely charged. Okay, now if we take the other battery that we were talking about, nothing getting zero readout and when you put it inside a tool you're getting uh, we're getting nothing inside the tool cordless screwdriver nothing so what I've learned is that the battery needs to have a little something into it to send a signal to the charger saying I need to be charged when the thing is completely drained it's got no way to send a signal to the charger to trigger the charge. So what we have to do is just kind of jumpstart this thing a little bit. So if you notice, let me see if I can get the, uh, the right angle with the light here. We've got a B plus and a B minus. We want to uh, take a small, a short wire and uh, put it inside the uh, B plus uh, terminal here or uh, connector and bridge it to the B plus on the other side and then do do the same thing with the B minus just for a second and then it should provide what we need and I need to make sure I'm uh, touching the terminals in here so B plus to B plus And then B minus to B minus. The gauge wire is just a little, just barely making it into that groove. Okay, it's making the connection. Now that's it. We pull it out. Let's see what happens. Look at that, we're charging. Make sure we got the right one. Yep, they're both charging now. So that's all it was. All we had to do was jump the, the uh, again, with a wire from one to the other, from the good one to the bad one, B plus to B plus, and then B minus to B minus, and now we're charging again. I'm gonna wait let this sit for a little bit watch it charge and then we'll see if we can run the tool now if you have these older style uh, batteries right these are an 18 volt different than the newer ones all you'll need to do is uh, is bridge the gap between the uh, two terminals here like this now this bra this battery is fine so we don't need to need to do it but um, so I really don't want to do it, but uh, you're going to clamp the terminals together and then the other two until you start to equalize the amount of charge between both. So let's say this is fully charged and this one's empty and it's not charging. Uh, you leave it in for just a little bit and you'll be able to get some of the, the charge to go from here into here. They'll start to balance out and then you can uh, take the dead one 
and put it in your charger and then continue from there. It's been just a few minutes. Let's stop it now and um, get it into the uh, tool and see if we've got any power here. Okay, now you could see that that was pretty easy and it worked well. We've got, we're back up and running with that particular battery. And uh, if you have any questions, if it's not working for you, leave them in the comment below. If you've got a different type of battery, uh, tell me what kind you've got. I'll look it up. We'll try to figure out a way to get this thing going for you again. And if they're completely dead for whatever reason, can't revive it, I'm going to put a link in the description uh, down below and also the first pinned comment to where you can buy a new 12-volt uh, battery, hopefully at a cheaper price than the original. Thanks again for watching. I hope you will come back and see more of the videos later. Thanks very much.